I, oh, I pull up, I'm moving too smooth. I, oh, I pull up, I'm moving too smooth. Yeah, I got colors, I got heels. I feel like Jizzy, I got views. I use them baby like a mules. Play them like the ones and two. Wow, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Chad Arms, aka Chetty Bobby. Olympody. We are back with another men's fragrance countdown rankings for you guys and gals today. If you have not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications. It is the month of October, and I'm doing a 31 movie reviews of October, 31 days of horror over on my group channel, the Triple Flix Mafia. Horror movie related content. Hit that subscribe button in there. We're close to a thousand subs on that channel. Let's see if we can get there. Um, today we're going to talk about four fragrances from Salvatore Ferragamo. It's the Uomo line. There is one I do not own, and it's Ferragamo's Uomo Limited Edition. I do not have that one, but I have the other four. And we're going to get right into it, man. I like all four of these. I think they all have their own vibe. But we know how this works, man. There's got to be a number four, a three, two, and a number one for doing rankings, right? Let's get right into it, man. Follow me on Instagram at Chad Arm Show. Let's get right into this, man. My number four. All right, my number four from the Salvatore Ferragamo line is Uomo Urban Feel. It's my number four. Top notes of bergamot, coffee, ozonic, and sage. Heart notes, you got cedarwood, cumin, and driftwood. And base notes, you got incense, labdanum, um, patchouli, and ambroxan. This is a very woody obviously um, spicy type of fragrance um, with the sage you get the uh, patchouli the cedar wood there's a lot happening um, incense this is a very spice ma uh, very masculine this is the most masculine of the four I feel like um, if you like this vibe I do like this one but it's a very spice heavy um, fragrance I still love it though, man. It's got nice, you definitely smell that cedar wood in there. I don't really smell the coffee note. I know the coffee note is, is listed in here along with, um, well, there's not Tonka in this one. There, But I don't really smell the coffee as much in this one, but it is listed. But it's my number four, that's Uomo's Urban Feel. It's a solid one, man. But just go in knowing this is more of a masculine scent of the four, okay? My number three. All right, my number three, Salvatore Ferragamo's Uomo Casual Life. This is a very nice one. This is a more citrus, uh, lighter, like a lighter citrusy uh, vibe. Man. Top notes are cardamom, lemon, and violet. Heart notes are coffee, geranium, and ambroxan. And base notes are cashmere, cedarwood, and musk. Okay. Again, the coffee note is in this one. I don't really get much coffee on this one, though. You do a little bit on the, like underneath, but up top you're getting that lemon, you're getting that cardamom. Um, as it's drying down some, you kind of do smell the coffee, but it's more of a faint. I didn't smell the coffee note at all in Urban Feel, but you do smell it in this underneath, but it's under that citrus lemon vibe. Um, cashmere, I don't really get a lot. I don't really get a lot of cashmere. I guess I can see, I guess I can kind of, sense it i mean a little bit cedar wood is not as heavy it's very heavy in urban feel that's that's one of the main notes of that cedar wood is what i smell this is a very nice one though it's it's not it's the less it's the um the worst performer of the four i will say that but it, if you want a lighter dolce gabbana light blue kind of vibe from it it gives you that style it gives you that summer feel i guess i can see why it's called casual life too Cause it's more of that style. It's that style fragrance for sure. Um, Aaron Runner only lasts me about four to five hours. Urban Fill lasts me about six or so, cause it's spicier, a little six or seven. But my number three, Uomo, Casual Life. My number two. My number two. This is a beast. Excuse me, got the hiccups. This is a beast. But this is not gonna be everybody's cup of tea because it's one of the sweetest fragrances in my entire collection. And that is Salvatore Ferragamo's Uomo, okay? The tiramisu fragrance, the gourmand fragrance. Bergamot, cardamom, pepper up top. Heart notes are gourmand note, orange blossom and ambroxan, and base notes are cashmere, sandalwood, and tonka bean. 
and oh my God, man. You smell that Tonka bean, something serves. You hear me? This is as sweet as a fragrance damn near can get. But I love it. It performs great. It's a great compliment getter. But you got to be into gourmand fragrances. A lot of men aren't into sweet fragrances. They'd rather have a musky, like a spicy one, more masculine scent. And I get that because I like both. Um, but this is a super sweet fragrance. This is this is smells like a dessert for sure. But it's incredible. Performance on it is great. Um, I, it performs better than Casual Life for sure. Performs urban outperforms Urban Fill by a little bit for me. It's probably around the seven eight hour range for this one. But it smells amazing and it's sweet and, and it's a beautiful fragrance, man. It's just it's a acquired taste because it's so sweet. You do not need many sprays with this, two or three. Usually I'm seven, eight sprays with certain ones, but something like this, three sprays and you're straight. You don't need to spray nothing else. I hit one here, one here, and one here, and I'm good to go, baby. And that is Salvatore Ferragamo's Uomo, my number two. So clearly, y'all know what my number one is. Let's get right into it, baby. My number one. My number one, man, it's no secret. Um, Salvatore Ferragamo Uomo Signature. The newest one in my collection, it's a little bit difficult to find. I had to get it off eBay. It was about 50 bucks for the 100 mil. It's always sold out on FragranceNet. It's always sold out on Fragrance X in this size bottle. And I've been waiting and waiting. I had some eBay bucks saved up, so we made, the, made it happen. And oh my God, man. Whew. Up top, you got grapefruit, mandarin, pink pepper. Heart notes are anise, cardamom, cinnamon. Base notes are leather, patchouli, tonka bean, and coffee. This to me is a, as much as I love Halloween Man X, that coffee fragrance, coffee scent, this is a better version of Halloween Man X to me, a better performing version. This fragrance is incredible, man. I don't really get much citrus at all. I mean, it's, it's just, it's coffee, tonka, leather, cinnamon. I mean, it's, Definitely some other cashmere in this. Uh, not cashmere, sorry. Cardamom. Sorry, I read it wrong. Um, but uh, it does. It smells like there's cashmere in this too. It's not listed on here. But I definitely feel the vibe of that. I, it's like I smell it in this, but I don't smell it in where it's listed in some of the other ones. So it's kind of tricky there. But it, the coffee note is the is the big takeaway from this one. The performance on this is, in, is incredible. It's 10 hours probably close to. Um, I've worn it multiple times. It performs better depending on what I'm doing. If I'm, you know, I work remotely, so if I'm doing that, it's gonna last way longer than if I'm out running errands and exercising stuff like that. It's not, you know what I mean. But this is an incredible fragrance. If you like coffee, if you like coffee, tonka bean, it's sweet, but that coffee note gives it those vibes as well. You got to be into coffee notes to like this one. If you don't like Halloween Man X, you're not gonna like this one most likely. But I love it. It's my favorite one from the uh, Ferragamo Uomo line, and that is Salvatore Ferragamo's Uomo Signature. So there we go, man. I know it's only four of them, but I feel like it's something. Ranking videos are fun, and I like to do these too, not only to rank mine, especially when there's only four or five. I like giving you the differences so you can kind of know what you got going into it. Because now that I've gotten so many fragrances, and I've been doing this for almost doing videos for over three months now three four months but I've been collecting almost seven okay um, I'm starting to kind of get better I'm, st I'm still got a long way to go as far as my knowledge and things like that but I feel like I I can help people that are that are newer to the you know to the game and that are just kind of on the fence about purchasing certain ones because as, as I love all four of these we'll go back over them again real quick number four urban feel spicier more um, more masculine the most masculine of the four then number three we did casual life it's like a more lighter citrusy version right then we've got the sweetest fragrance that i own ferragamo if you want a gourmand boom got you right here and then the my favorite one is signature it's got a gourmand feel but then that coffee note and it, it's a little bit of a little bit of mixture of both you know what i'm saying and i think if you ask me, I'm gonna say get all four of them because I love all four of them. But it all just depends. 
what my favorite one is may not be your favorite. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's a it's an objective. It's all subjective. Sorry, not objective. It's a subjective thing. You know what I'm saying? There's no right or wrong answer. There's somebody out there that probably thinks Dragon Ball Z uh, cologne is the best cologne ever. I can't tell them no. I can't say no, it's not, if they like it. You know what I mean? But uh, with that being said, man, I love each and every one of y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed this countdown. Be sure to hit that like uh, button. Be sure to hit that subscribe. Subscribe to the Triple Flicks Mafia for my horror movie reviews for this month. And as always, man, love, peace, and hair grease. Yo,